The Osprey Daylight and the Osprey Daylight Plus are two of the most popular day packs out there. Inside this video, we're going to be putting them against each other to see which one is ultimately better for you. I'll be testing out the bags individually and at the end of the video, we're going to go over the major differences and which one I would recommend for most people. Now, as the name suggests, you may look at these two bags and think, well, one is just a little bit bigger. And yes, that is the case, but there are quite a few differences between these bags that we must go over. We'll start with tackling the Osprey Daylight. One thing that I absolutely love about the Osprey Daylight is its minimal pack size, which ultimately leads to a lighter backpack. So if you're someone considering taking this bag on a day hike, you're going to appreciate that smaller size and ultimately that smaller weight. However, with that smaller size also comes less amount of pockets and storage options. But despite being smaller, one feature I am absolutely thrilled that Osprey kept on this bag is the water bottle holders on the side and we do have that stretchy elastic mesh material that can accommodate larger size water bottles like this one. I'm also happy to see that I can simply and easily fit my MacBook Air into the back pocket of this backpack. So if you're not using the back pocket for a water reservoir, it definitely will fit a MacBook Air in the back so you can use it as a school bag or as a potential personal item bag. Not to mention this backpack also has a luggage sleeve on the top allowing you to attach it to your carry-on luggage so you don't have to wear this around the airport. That is a huge feature for me and I love that they kept it with the Osprey Daylight. Now with this bag, we only have two storage options, which is totally fine because they are both large capacity storage pockets. This one right here in the front is great for storing items that you need easy access to. So think snacks, wallet, sunglasses. There are a couple of pouches here that you can store items in. It's a great pocket when you need to grab something in a hurry. The second pocket is going to be the larger pocket and this expands to the bottom of the backpack. So the size of the backpack is basically the size of this pocket. It is an open pocket, meaning that you can store anything and organize anything in here the way that you like using things like packing cubes. And of course we have the water reservoir pocket or as I've shown before, a laptop pocket. And this is also great because your drinking tube goes through this hole right here onto the back of the bag and you can slip the drinking tube through this strap when you're not using it. Of course, we have some padding in the shoulder straps, but it's gonna be limited padding. But what I do appreciate is that it is a mesh material, allowing the straps not to get wet when you're sweating. Same goes for the back where they have their airscape design material that keeps moisture away from the back of your backpack and allows it it to ventilate when you're hiking. Despite its smaller size, I really do think that the daylight brings a lot to the table and I love so many different things about it. In my opinion, it is a great backpack. However, there are a few things that it is lacking compared to its bigger brother and we're gonna go ahead and dive into those in depth. The Daylight Plus actually has double the amount of storage pockets compared to the daylight. We have this front pocket here. We have a, another pocket that is expandable via these buckles, which is also great for for holding your jacket when you're not using it. And then we have the two main pockets in the back. Just like the daylight, we have that option to store water bottles in both sides of the backpack, which is huge. However, these are gonna be a little bit stretchier and larger, so you could fit even larger water bottles inside of the Daylight Plus. This front pocket here is fairly deep and great for storing things like your sunglasses, cell phone, wallet, snacks you need to get to in a hurry, or just anything else that you prefer storing somewhere where you can easily reach it. Now, my favorite pocket has to be this expandable pocket, which I do use to store my coat when I'm not wearing it. This alone makes a huge difference between the Daylight Plus and the Daylight for me because I love having that extra storage option for heavy coats. Moving on to our back pockets, we have the first of the two, which is slightly smaller and only goes about to the midway of the backpack, but still great for holding many of your hiking supplies. And then lastly, we have the main compartment of the backpack that extends to the full depth and length of this backpack. You really do have a lot of storage space inside this pocket. We have a padded sleeve here, which is meant more for holding up to a 15 inch laptop, unlike the daylight. But of course you could also store your water reservoir in here just like the daylight. And we have that exterior hole here for the drinking tube. Moving on to the back, Osprey also brought over that luggage sleeve on the top for the daylight plus. And I'm really glad that they did because it makes this backpack even more versatile
versatile outside of that hiking category, you could use this backpack as your carry-on or your personal item bag. We do get more padding here in the shoulder straps and we have that same great airscape design in the back of the backpack providing, providing tons of ventilation while you're hiking. When it comes down to it, there are way more similarities between the Daylight Plus and the Daylight than there are differences. Those similarities include the two back pockets that are roughly the similar size on both of the models, allowing more than enough space to carry your basic hiking gear or basic travel necessities. Then we move on to the double mesh water bottle holders on each side of both of these backpacks. And even though the Daylight Plus has a slightly stretchier water bottle pocket, they both have two water bottle holders, one on each side. You're also getting the same great airscape back design on both of these backpacks, allowing plenty of ventilation for those day hikes. We also see the drinking tube straps on both of these backpacks, and both backpacks have a double buckling system, so you can strap one around your chest and one around your waist. That just makes carrying these backpacks way more comfy. And we also can't forget to mention the similarities between the drinking tube holes and the water reservoir or pockets that allow you to carry a large amount of water in either of these backpacks. And lastly, and probably the most important similarity to me, is going to be that luggage strap that sits at the top of both of these backpacks. Having that luggage strap makes carrying these backpacks a breeze in the airport because you can strap them to your luggage and you don't have to carry them on your back the entire time you're walking around the airport or waiting for your next flight. But despite all these similarities, there are some key differences that we need to talk about. Because that could be a make or break for you and which bag you ultimately decide to go with. The biggest difference between the two is going to be that front compartment on the Daylight Plus. The Daylight doesn't have that extra storage compartment at the front, which is ultimately great for holding your coat or your sweatshirt. And to me, that makes this bag a standout as an airline travel bag, as opposed to traveling with the Daylight as your personal item bag. The Daylight Plus is also a little bit wider than the Daylight allowing you to fit a bigger laptop inside of the Daylight Plus. However, both of them do allow ample space for a water bladder, so if you're primarily going to be using this for hiking, you really can't go wrong with either. The other major difference is going to be the zipper pocket in the front of the Daylight Plus, which we don't have on the Daylight, unfortunately, and that zipper pocket is perfect for putting things that you need to have easy access to. So if you're traveling in an airport, you can put your sunglasses, your passport, snacks, anything that you want to be able to to access quickly into that pocket, but you don't have that option in the daylight bag. Ultimately, both bags make great hiking backpacks, but where I believe the Daylight Plus stands out is as a personal item carry-on bag. You just have the extra pockets, that space for your sweatshirt, and you also have some added cushioning on the straps, making it just a little bit more comfortable for those long layovers at the airport. If you're someone who wants to save space and you're perfectly fine with a smaller hiking backpack, I recommend the Osprey Daylight. But if you're somebody who wants an all-around backpack that can accommodate you both for hiking and for air travel, then I recommend the Osprey Daylight Plus. In conclusion though, you cannot go wrong with either of these bags. They are excellent. Thank you so much for watching this comparison video video and if you're interested in more content like this make sure to subscribe to the channel and like this video. I'm David and I create top five best videos, product comparisons, and product reviews so make sure to stay tuned when I release my next video.